Hey viewers, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all of you out there. And we are Father's Day fishing. I've wanted to go fishing for uh, over a year or so now. Jerry joined a couple um, uh, online things to um, uh, replenish our, our uh, stock because we moved everything and haven't done anything with our fishing stuff. So we've got new poles and a lot of new gear and here we go just uh, ran into some people who were leaving they were out on a boat they said this was a pretty good spot we're under a bridge that goes from highway 86 and our road starling road it turns into m highway and as you cross 60 uh, State Highway 60, it turns into W, and we're just um, north of Ritchie. But this is Show Creek. We've had a lot of people say this is a good place. Show Creek is a good place to fish. This is like close to our home, and that's what I wanted to do. My thought was we could uh, one evening, 5 o'clock, say, Let's get in the car and let's go fishing. We can run down here and fish for a couple hours and see what we do. So I'm going to pause right now while we get set up. Okay, we're getting these poles set up. Jerry's sister's husband, Ken McAllister, is a contest fisherman. And we were there um, at their house last summer last July actually almost a year ago to uh, celebrate uh, Jerry's niece's Persephone Berry her uh, high school graduation and we got to talking about fishing and they live Carla and Ken live in on a in a house that uh, backyard goes up against a uh, a lake and he goes out there he comes home every day and goes out throws his pole in he does catch and catch and release but he goes out 15 20 minutes 30 minutes and um, does his thing so we asked his opinion on uh, fishing poles we brought all our fishing stuff with us from California but we've not used it in 15 years and we just thought I thought it would just be best to start kind of like fresh so we took his recommendation and went down to uh, Bass Pro Shop last fall I think it was and it got these fishing poles so we're gonna be testing them out and see how we do today we really don't care if we catch something or not it's the fact that we are out here we're doing it it's down from our house and we're testing out all our new gear so if we catch something it'll be a bonus and if we don't it'll be a nice evening this uh, I wanted to say too long fishing box has a little bit of everything in there I think we're going to have a couple other boxes at home that we all get organized into you know uh, fish specific maybe so that if we want to catch bass or catfish which I think we can do either one in this in Shoal Creek then we'll have the right box to take with us but right now we just have all this new stuff and uh, just gonna test out all this different stuff so we are um, Packing it up. We've been here about oh an hour or so, which is okay. And what did we figure out that we do the next time we come down? We need bobbers and some hook, some smaller hooks. Because because there are smaller fish in here. Okay. And we need seats, chairs to sit on because it kills my back. Right. But just overall the experience. It's fishing. And it was it's not catching. But it was pleasant. It wasn't hot. It was a little muggy at first, but it's starting to cool down. Yeah. What about you, Robert? Lost two lures or hooks. Oh, you did? Yeah, we did. They can catch logs like nobody else. Well, that's it. 
That's okay, though. That's okay. We were down here to, you know, test it, test it out. And maybe we'll try a different spot next time. Who knows, right? What? We might try a different spot next time. Yep. So, in closing, on this uh, Father's Day of 2022, thanks for watching our video. Hope you all had a good day. We did. Um, please uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It is um, free, of course. And please share our videos. We'd like to uh, uh, get our subscriber count up, and we can do that with your help. Like our videos, and see you on the next one.